Welcome everyone to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and we are here with the fourth developer beta of iOS 14. At the moment, no public beta has been released, but you are sure to bet it is just around the corner. Apple continues to chomp away at the new update, bringing more features, enhancements, and tweaks as we approach release. Now here we have two phones on the left is iOS uh, 14 beta 3 and the fourth one is running beta 4. So we can see some of the different changes between the two updates. The first thing we want to do is head into our widget view. We're going to go ahead and do uh, jiggle mode, tap that plus button in the top left hand corner. You're going to notice we have a few changes here in the most recent beta, including the return of the weather widget. The weather widget was not here in the last beta. That has returned, as you can see at the bottom of the list over on the right. But we also have a new TV widget. So TV widget was not there before. It is new here in the fourth beta of iOS 14. It comes in three different sizes, that small, medium, and large, as you can see, it allows you to pick up where you left off or recommend other shows that you may want to go ahead and watch. In this beta, we also have support for Apple and Google's COVID-19 exposure notification. So if we jump into settings on the old beta, you see we have nothing here under emergency SOS, but over here on our beta 4 device, we have exposure notification as a new option inside of settings. It gives you just a little bit of information. If you have any apps installed, it'll allow you to choose between different apps uh, and regions that you're in and tells you how those exposure notifications work uh, and let anyone know if you have been exposed to anything. Of course, you do need those third-party exposure notification apps to take advantage of that API. Launching notes inside of the new beta, there's a new little pop-up screen letting you have a powerful search and new in this release, uh, giving you recommendations toward the top of uh, notes that may be relevant to you at that moment. 3D Touch has returned for compatible devices. So rather than always using haptic touch, you can use 3D Touch on devices that still support 3D Touch. We have better search for within apps and contacts. Thank you to Vittori on Twitter for sourcing that one out for us. If you have one of the latest iPad Pros, the 11 inch or the 12.9 inch version, and you're using the Measure app, there's now a new feature that will automatically give you a person's height. So as long as it has that LiDAR sensor on there, you go ahead and open the Measure app, and it'll give you instantly some somebody's height just by pointing the measure app at them. The list or the uh, widgets for reminders now has a dark gray background rather than black when you're in dark mode on your device. And we have new icons inside of the weather app. So same location here, same time, but as you can see, all the icons have been adjusted on the new bait on the right. Something simple like moving the cloud from the left to the right of the sun, as well as the placement of the lightning bolt there. So just a few changes as far as icons go in the weather app. Now, of course, these are a non-exhaustive list. If you find anything else, let me know over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU, and we will update the accompanying article with those changes.